This is a tutorial about Google Sites and Picasa. I have found that it's better to open my own Google account rather than go through the school because I have found some difficulty integrating Picasa with Google Sites and also my YouTube account with Google Sites when I go through the school. So I've quickly put together a new tutorial with my own Google Sites. So the first thing you want to do is go to Sites and create new sites once you have your account. Create new site. Then you're going to spend some time finding a name that has not been taken. Once you do that, then you type in the secret code that they give you there and create site. Okay, then your first page comes up, so you're going to want to click edit. And I want to say welcome for mine. And then I want to choose three columns for layout. Then I'm going to insert an image, so I'm going to go insert it from a file on my desktop. I have some NASA images that I downloaded, so I'm going to look for something appropriate that can go on my home page. Okay, here's the first one. Click OK. And you see it has come in a certain size and they allow you to scale it down. You can have it small, that's too small, and then I like medium. So I chose the medium size and centered. Now I'm going to go get another image from a file on my desktop. I think I'll choose the Earth, and I'm going to center it. Okay, I'm going to go get a third image, insert image, from my desktop. And I'm going to find a picture, maybe, of Saturn. So let's see, okay, that's a good one. Okay, and I think I'll leave that about the same size. You can play around with the sizes. Uh, you can have them small, medium, or large. Okay, I'm pasting in a little text, just some text I got from NASA, just to take up some space. Oops, a picture came in there, so I'm going to take that out. It's not necessary. Okay, close up that gap. Paste some more text in. And I got some more text from Wikipedia. Okay, I saved it and now I'm going to create a new page. So I'm going to have to name that page. It will automatically become a part of my navigation. So I'm going to name this slideshow and create page. Okay, now I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to choose three columns and save it. You always want to save. Now I'm going into my Picasa account and I'm going directly to the photo section, my photo albums, 
and I've already prepared a photo album from NASA and uh, over on the right here we it offers us some code if we want to share so we copy we decide if we want it to be large medium or small and we copy the code they give us then we go back to our website and click edit the page and there's a little area for HTML click on that that's where you're going to paste any code that is given to you and save and now you'll see a gadget appears that gadget represents my connection to Picasso so save that okay you'll see now my slideshow is coming directly through my Picasso account it's a little small so I think I'm going to try again there is more than one way to insert here so one way is to insert directly from your web page there it's connected to your Picasso account then you decide what size you want and make all of those decisions so there are two ways to bring in slideshows into your web page. So this came in through the insert because the slideshow menu and I'm just moving it to the left manually and I saved it and you can see it's a larger slideshow and it's on the left side. Now I'm going to create a new page. I'm going to make it a regular page and I'm going to call it it's going to be my blog so I'm going to call it some thoughts so it's going to be my blog page where all of my thoughts go I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to choose two columns And I'm going to paste in the feedback from a student from one of our classes. And I'm going to format that page because it doesn't come in very well. So quickly close up the spaces there. And these are some thoughts that we had when we went out and surfed the web, looked at some different uh, YouTube videos and technology in the world. Okay, so now it's formatted. We have to make the links come live. So we select links, select everything you want to make a link, and just click link. Select and click link. Select and click link. And then save it and you see you've got a page now let's create a new page okay it's a regular page and i'm going to call this calendar this is where i'm going to have a calendar click create page okay i'm going to lay out i'm going to choose two columns this time then I'm going to insert in the insert menu insert calendar and I'm going to my calendar it directly connects with any calendars I've created so you see I've got another gadget and I save it and then you can see I have my calendar and it resizes when I resize the browser okay there's my home page my slideshow page, my blog page, my calendar page. Okay, I'm going to create a new page. This is going to be where I put movies. Okay, I see it's not showing my navigation, so I'm going to edit the navigation bar 
edit navigation and I'm going to add a page so it will go look for the page that's missing there's my movie page find it just save it and then return to my website okay in my movie page I want to edit the page and then I'm going to make two columns and insert a YouTube movie so I go to the YouTube movie and I click on the area where it's share URL I copy that and then I paste it into the area it's requesting for the YouTube movie and I name the YouTube movie the correct title and save it now I have a YouTube movie embedded in my web page I don't want to see there's my little um, introduction to astronomy YouTube movie that I got off YouTube okay so now I have a home page looks good and I want to edit this time I want to change the look it's time for me to change my theme and to decorate this page so I'm going to choose something neutral gray and yellow and save it and then return to my website and you see it's inserted all of the colors and the links it has a whole color scheme in the background for me and I go through and I see my slideshow, my blog page, my calendar, my movies. And it really looks nice. And I have made a web page and a Picasa account in a very, very short period of time.